Ahoy there, pirates! Marky, or Kerfuffle Hustle, here from Rare Thief. There are 13 commendations to earn in the Sea of Thieves' tall tale, A Pirate's Life. In this video, we will walk through each step of one such commendation, Secret of the Grave. We have a written guide for this commendation, which we'll link below, but sometimes it just helps to see it. Before we begin, there are a few things we should probably mention, because unless you've taken these things into consideration, you'll either end up needing to repeat entire commendations, or you might be prevented from even beginning this commendation. However, if you've already watched our videos for A Powerful Thirst, Raising the Dead, Treasure for the Dead, or Ship of Thieves, then you likely already know what we're going to say and can feel free to skip ahead to the next bookmark in this video. If you have not yet watched those videos, then you might just find this little introduction useful. First and foremost, unlike most Tall Tale commendations, Secret of the Grave belongs to a set of six commendations that must be completed sequentially in one grand adventure. The set includes the following commendations in this order, a Powerful Thirst, Raising the Dead, Treasure for the Dead, Ship of Thieves, Secret of the Grave, and The Crew of the Headless Monkey. Technically, you could do A Powerful Thirst after Raising the Dead and Treasure for the Dead. Regardless, you'll need to do all three before doing Ship of Thieves, and you'll need to do Ship of Thieves before doing Secret of the Grave. Most importantly, to complete all six commendations, you must complete the steps for those commendations all in one session. Even if you've unlocked the first four commendations in a previous session, you must still complete the steps for those four commendations in the same session that you would like to complete Secret of the Grave, because those steps set up certain session-based conditions required for Secret of the Grave. Savvy? So, if you've not yet completed the steps for A Powerful Thirst, Raising the Dead, Treasure for the Dead, and Ship of Thieves in this sailing session, you'll need to do that first. Do we have video guides for those four commendations? Of course, me hearties. In fact, this walkthrough picks up right where the Ship of Thieves video left off. Second, if you've completed Ship of Thieves, then that means you've found and freed the Cursed Captain. Now we just need to make sure you did not lose your ability to use the Cursed Captain. How might that happen? Well, if you continue progressing in your Tall Tale journey, eventually you will end up aboard the Cursed Captain's old ship. There, he will ask you to reunite him with his old body. This is how you might lose that skull. Because, at least as of this recording, once you place the Cursed Captain's head on his original body, you cannot pick him back up. All right, me hearties, three questions for ye. First, do you plan to complete all six commendations in this session, or alternatively? If you do not, do you not mind retracing your steps at a later date? Second, have you completed the steps for the first four commendations in this sailing session? And third, do you still have a willing and able cursed captain? If the answer is a resounding aye, captain, then you are perfectly poised to embark upon this commendation. Let's begin. to be good at cards. That is, I used to be good at cheating at cards. I 
I may not be the pirate I once was, but I can still put the fear into them what knows me. I know you can hear me, ye cowardly curs! Drop what you're doing and get this bridge in order! We've a ferry to catch! I suppose I should tell you the story. For when we sailed into the Sea of the Damned, it were a happy accident. For we were fleeing our enemies with a whole pack full of their plunder. By and by, me crew starts to grumble about returning to the living world. But I'd have soon have stayed with me loot for all eternity, rather than risk it out on the waves. I snuffed out the flame. Aye, and the lighthouse keeper too. Had to be sure the ferryman wouldn't come and part me from me loot. Now, I'm not what you'd call knowledgeable about contraptions and whatnot. If I can borrow a body, I might be able to help. See if you can't set me down on that headless heap of bones over there. Ah, new body at last. Not as handsome as me old one, but they say beggars can't be choosers. There! It's just like sailing a sloop. Ye never forget how. Now, let's see if we can't find some clue as to set this place ablaze once more. First, see if you can't light the brazier with that fancy flame of yours. Of course, lighting up the town is all well and good. But you'll need to point your flame out to sea, if we're to call the ferry. Aye, that's the way. Though I think it looked better in the dark. Now, to get the ferryman's attention. on her decks. Those hooded fellers are what you might call in charge around here. But they won't suffer the living to board her. The only way he'll sail aboard that ship is to stow away. I wonder if their little secrets still be stowed about here. The key to me cabin, after all these years, the keeper took it when he ratted me out to the others and they set upon me. Me ship'll be a sight for sore sockets, sure enough. But this moldy old body won't last five minutes out there, so I'll need ye to be my transport once again. At least till we reach me ship. Take me to me ship with the red sails, and I'll see ye safely aboard that ferry. Filled with cloths 
Thor's. That's enough for me, help. <laughs> 